Welcome back to my channel everybody. Um, really enjoying uh, flying this uh, Phenom from uh, Cockspur. It's a really fun little flyer. Going to uh, take it out of Tulsa International here at KTUL and head it up to St. Louis. We've got an exec needs to get up there through the snowstorm. So without further ado, let's get moving. Totally cold and dark. It just quit snowing here in Tulsa, just like it's really doing outside in the real world. Watch your heads. It's a really a small aircraft. Ooh, get woozy doing that. So if we hit this just right, it should be able to close that door. Should be able to just reach it down. There we go. We'll get up in here into our position. Up a little bit off. You see, we have icy conditions. So up. All right, hit my button. There we go. All right, so we're cold and dark. Uh, been going through a few things here. A couple things I want to emphasize. So we're going to uh, remove chalks. Covers gone. Cargo doors and control lock gone. We'll leave GPU on for the moment. Park brake is set. Okay, let's get our tools out. <clears throat> get our iPads out and everything. This will be a pilot ATC flight again. We will be allowing the uh, co-pilot to handle comms as I continue aircraft familiarization. I've been uh, working on uh, getting the Bruners fine-tuned uh, fine and then uh, also uh, if it's realistic Had a couple of little issues pop up, nothing major. I think we're at the end of that. So anyway, bear with me. This might be a long video, but we're gonna have fun with it. So this is Sky for Sim Next Generation. It's really a great little piece of software. And then the other day, you know, of course I fly with Navigraph charts. So you have a choice. Uh, you can do the standard Navigraph charts. I'll bring that up. So every time you pop it open in VR, this is how it happens. And I don't know why they've got that deal. You always got to click now. But anyway, the resize. And I just want to show you something real quick. So you get this size to the way you want it. And then, of course, yeah, you can grab it and move it and put it anywhere you want and all that. And it's fine, you know. You got to zoom it in to you like this. But what gets me is... <coughs> uh, over here on uh, Sky for CMNG, you can click down here in this corner and you can do away with this border. And it gives it a nice clean look. And you can still do a little bit of resizing with it right there, but it stays right there. You can't grab it and move around. So, with this, I'll just normally put it right here. The main, well, back to this, the main reason I use Sky for CMNG is because of the notifications window. Of course, it has a lot of other really nice tools in it as well. But that is the main reason I bought it. And you can place this anywhere you want. I, I like it kind of over here where I can quick view it easy. So this, you know, it's always puzzled me, you know, well, if they've got a border on this, why don't they have on this, you know? And maybe someday Navigraph uh, will do that. So I was poking around the other day, and I run across this. All right. So this is quite nice. It uh, You just grab it and squeeze her in and there she is. Then you can grab it and you can put it anywhere you want. Like I said, I like to make it look like it's got its own little mount. Now the one thing you got to kind of watch with this is there is a window down here. So if you get it out of whack too much, you can't reach down because it does interfere a little bit. So like, 
right now I can use that button but if I bring it down say to there then see it becomes unusable there unless you clean up so you got to find just the right position so what it is is I believe it's the uh, window you know outside but then you can resize this is quite a cool little tool so I am uh, gonna do some flying with this thing and that's as small as I could make that and then it does look like it's mounted so what's this it's got navigraph inside of it so isn't that a clean look that's just it's only like twenty one dollars so uh, it's at flight sim dot m e uh, picked it up for like twenty one dollars uh, now you go online there to read any of the manuals and stuff they're in Spanish you just click the translator on the web page and it translates everything to English so there's a lot of features in here I've yet to explore one of them uh, I'm interested in looking at is uh, it's uh, which one is it do, 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 do. you can do a uh, little nav map in here and stuff uh, you can do uh, fat sim all that it's it's a pretty good tool I go on YouTube and search for the all-in-one tablet uh, so what I'm thinking of in the future I don't have my PDFs in here yet what was it you can do sim brief right there uh, notepad you can draw a mouse with that one but there's another one I remember which one it is but it lets you uh, take notes with the mouse but then I'm thinking I should be able to get a stylus pen of some sort and be able to go in there and write so I'm going to investigate that I'm, I'm not going to jump off into it anytime soon but anyway it, it just it's great that's a great look so let's import the flight we're gonna go to uh, downtown uh, airport there KCPS and we are going to CPS the approach today is going to be ILS 3-0 left so we'll go ahead and pin that so I'm trying to shift all my focus over onto this now uh, and just leave this here now of course this still has some great tools in there but I'm going to try to do what I've been doing uh, with this. So let's see. We can go settings, interface. We can shrink this down a little bit. So that's not too awful bad right there. All right, we'll play around with that more later. But anyway, I thought that was awesome little tool. It just looks so fantastic. All right, let's get set up for the flight. Uh, first, we're going to get our uh, load on here so we'll bring this back up we'll go to our Sembri panel here real quick and load our fuel and our payload so let's check this out our block fuel is 1569 so that's 750 so we'll go with uh, 744 pounds our payload is going to be 1150 
1488, 1560, nice weekend. <coughs> right there, 1571, so then we can come in here, payload 1150. There we go. So our max takeoff weight is 9,546. Alright, so all that's set. So let's we get the GPU running. Let's go ahead and let's see there. I've got to lean forward a little bit and get that switch. We can wait on the generator. We'll get the flight plan in and everything. I'm going to put some nav lights on. Light them up. Next red still showing snow in the area, so we'll be using uh, all the heat we can get uh, so I'm still trying to get familiar with this so let's go flight plan well oh, we got better at it yet flight plan menu Plan catalog, click, enter. Let's select it. We're going to activate it. Enter. All right. So let's go procedures. Select arrival. There'll be approach. Enter. Going for ILS. Three level. Let's verify that. Yep, three left. Thirty left. Do vectors. And go to the standard 200 on a radar altimeter. You should be able to type that in. No. Nope. Yes, we can't type that in. We'll go to standard 200 for the minimums. We are in business. All right. So let's make sure we have chart capability okay. There we go. So that's all in. So I don't have to do that over here. I could keep that as my map, which is what I prefer. We'll bring our flight plan up here. There we go. Flight level is 390 today. So let's uh, pop on in and get our ATIS. So we can 
come over here. I like this because you can move in and zoom it around better. So A hey, this is one two four nine. So we'll just do a swap here real quick. Weather is not currently available for Tulsa International. Uh oh. Arriving and departing runway three six right one eight left. Weather is not. Okay, but yes it is. So we can come back over to either one of these. Let's see. Let's go. Let's exit there. Go airports. Weather. Adis. We're bringing them out on 36 right. We're going to request 36 left. Winds 350 at 9 knots. Overcast. I don't know how to read all those. Three zero three nine is our altimeter. It's so come out six hundred forty feet. There we go. Ah. Uh, Oxygen on. Alright. Auto. Auto. Pump. Auto. Auto. Seat belt's on. That's arm. Drop pump. Heat's on. Number one, light off. <coughs> Get some windshield heat going. With the auto. Number two. Light off. Okay, electricals auto. Fuel pumps auto auto. Emissions auto. Lead source auto, both. Air conditioning auto, we'll crack up the heat. Let's see if we can get some melting going. The engine anti ice on. Call in, get our clearance. Well, that's got it. One three four zero five, so we should be able to type that in. Swap it. Clarence Phenom One Bravo Charlie, ready to copy IFR. One Bravo Charlie is cleared to Kilo Charlie Papa Sierra as filed. Expect departure runway 36 left. Climb and maintain 8,000 feet. 
Expect higher clearances 4 minutes after departure. Departure on 124.0. Squawk 3360. One Bravo Charlie is cleared to Kilo Charlie Papa Sierra is filed. Climb and maintain 8,000 feet. Expect higher clearances 4 minutes after departure. Departure on 124.0. Squawk 3360. And 501 BC1 Bravo Charlie read back correct. Altimeter is 3039er contact ground on 121.9er when ready to taxi. Have a good one. Altimeter is 3039er ground on 121.9er and 501 BC1 Bravo Charlie. And I need to go fix my call sign again. Yeah, always we forget right to back. set that in pilot ATC. Let's double check, make sure they got us under our proper call sign. Clarence, radio check, Phenom, 1 Bravo Charlie. 1 Bravo Charlie, this is Tulsa ground on 121.9er, please repeat your request. Radio check, Phenom, 1 Bravo Charlie. Phenom, 1 Bravo Charlie, you are loud and clear. Okay, so that's cool. All right, let's hide that. So here we'll click that to notifications. That way we understand everything we're given. We're expecting uh, departure runway right, one left. Let's verify everything. Oh, 6412, ground, taxi to park and have a good morning. Finally got melting. Okay. Do a flap. Flight controls. Rudders. Uh, so we can go on over to ground or we can call them. Let's say. Watch the ground, Delta Maintenance 5. Ground. Ready for taxi, Phenom 1 Bravo Charlie. Phenom 1 Bravo Charlie, contact tower on 118.7. Tower on 118.7, Phenom 1 Bravo Charlie. Watch the ground, Delta. Tower, ready for taxi, Phenom 1 Bravo Charlie. Phenom 1 Bravo Charlie backtrack runway 08 winds are 347 at 9 are knots cleared for takeoff. Runway 08 yep. maintain runway heading until above 1700 feet then proceed on course. Backtrack to runway 08 cleared for takeoff. 08 maintain runway heading until above 1700 feet then proceed on course. Phenom 1 Bravo Charlie. Ah, so once again I forgot the uh, Alpha with some ground point nine I'll see you. GPU and it will not let you roll with it. We're going to taxi to 18 left. We're cleared for takeoff. <coughs> so, runway 08. We requested 36. Tire request. Runway 36 left for departure. Phenom 1 Bravo Charlie. Aircraft calling Tulsa Tower say again with your call sign. Request departure runway 36 left. Phenom 1 Bravo Charlie. Request runway 36 left. Phenom 1 Bravo Charlie. Aircraft calling Tulsa Tower say again with your call sign. They're going to make us go on 8. We'll do as told. Pick the long way around. So, quick note on something. Uh, the other day, I was taking off a couple of different airports, and you get these cracks in the runway, and when you hit them, it crashes your aircraft. So I went online looking for answers, didn't see anything obvious. So I went in and I turned off all data. 
and I believe that's got it cleared up. Other than my photogram, it's photogrammetry is still on, but the uh, any of the cash, rolling cash, all that I've disabled. They give us runway eight, and that's what we'll do. We requested three six left. So I've done some adjusting with my Bruner rudders to try to dial this airplane into a little bit less uh, squirreliness. Toe braking action. Trying to maintain center line. And I am perfecting my landing technique with it. I'm going uphill. Cross this runway to find runway 08. Gonna be a an IFR departure. That was the sound you would hear as you would go down the runway, and then as soon as you hit one of those things, you were crashed and burned. Chevy 1406 traffic on a three mile funnel, runway 31 left to go. This will be runway 8, trick. Alright, ready for departure, runway 08, Phenom 1 Bravo Charlie. Phenom 1 Bravo Charlie winds are 347 at 9 or knots cleared for takeoff. Runway 08 maintain runway heading until above 1,700 feet then proceed on course. Cleared for takeoff. Runway 08 maintain runway heading until above 1,700 feet then proceed on course. Phenom 1 Bravo Charlie. Okay, so I've got the flight director tied to two buttons on my yoke. It's a dual button press. I'm going to hit the toga button. Set heading. Alright, so... Okay. 1700 feet to proceed on course. So this is giving us a straight out, which is fine. Okay, 30, 31, course, runway 3, left, 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 Oh, baby, don't crash me. A lot of right pedal. Come on, come on, come on. Kipper on the center line, best of kit. Ah. Toe brakes, gear up. Get all dampers on. Check out your 3031. Autopilot, heading mode. Flight level change. Climb at 165. 1700, go nav mode. Phenom 1 Bravo Charlie climb to 17,000 feet contact Tulsa departure on 124.0. Enjoy. Climb to 17,000 feet departure on 124.0 Phenom 1 Bravo Charlie. Departure Phenom 1 Bravo Charlie climbing to 17,000 feet. Phenom 1 Bravo Charlie, after Radar contact. Be 
speed up to 180. Fire park. Nice. Uh, I'm liking this little airplane. GPS is taking over. Center on 128.8, take care, and on 1 Bravo Charlie. Center and on 1 Bravo Charlie climbing to 17,000 feet. Then on 1 Bravo Charlie for Hopton. Looking good. We'll get to 10,000, we'll release the customers. Fun little jet to fly, I tell you. This cockpit just feels so good. Every now and then you'll get an airplane where the cockpit's just awesome. This is one of them. 10,000 landing lights off. We'll accelerate to 200. Just ease her up slow. Dropping that nose. Got some gnarly looking clouds. Just sit. Put this in auto mode. Well, what a take off. Nice. Twenty-eight minutes to Springfield. Look at her charts. Zero left with the park, vacate the runway, co pilot side. Not familiar with this airport at all. Need to set our, no, our, I'm not in the 35. <laughs> we'll keep that heat going a little bit longer. Go into half bank mode. Good to start our timer. 
So if I got to do little things I gotta clean up. So we can do our speeds in here. And I do have a chart. And the only way to know our weight is to bring up the uh, center November 5389 Romeo at 9300. Quick board. Step climb. Minimum one rebel Charlie climb to flight level two five zero. Climb to flight level two five zero. Minimum one Bravo Charlie. Tell them leave their belts on. So I've been through just about every setting on everything, and this is the only item I don't know what it does. All you can do is roll it left and right. There we go. Just about clear of the weather. Well, this is 109.1. So, Mr. Pro climbed to 1400 and climbing left turn to 2000 on a heading of 00. zero. ICPS localizer. Climbing left turn to two thousand on a heading of zero eight zero. Localizer Southeast Course 122 to EBOP intercept and hold. Okay, so let's just go bring us right back there. Okay. So we do have VNAV. We will use during the set. You 
about 4240. This is 2100. Looking good. Go so number two, Romeo Sierra, third red Gilly, and descended maintain one six thousand, San Diego altimeter two nine or nine or nine. Drake Gilly, descend to maintain one six thousand and two nine or nine or nine or two Romeo. Three hundred and sixty four ground speed, doing well. Twenty four thirty five, fifteen ninety get that. Twenty four thirty five, fifteen ninety get that. A lot of weather under us, we go ahead and turn this light off. Bring our engine heats up. Options next red off. Kick back, enjoy the flight, and get our exec to St. Louis on time. Quick, quick, quick. Alright, so back over to this. Do the checklist. Once there's a phenom checklist, let's see MB. I don't think there's a phenom in here. Brief. Guess I gotta enter my credentials in there. KCPS, I believe it is. Number one, Juliet, here. If you're planning for you can expect further distance at about 24 miles for crossing traffic. One, Juliet, here, runner. St. Louis downtown.
another step climb. Captain of the flight 24, 27, we're loading at that 240, uh, 10-6-0 knots of time. Canvas is the one that lets you right. And so I'm looking at possibly doing a uh, stylus pin. Because they have. Where was it? I saw that. Had one. Look at that. I just can't write with the mouse. That cool. So you can flip this thing. So it's sideways. I kind of like this style right now, but this is something I'm going to look at in the future. It's got a web browser. I haven't figured out how that works. Climb to flight level 390. Climb to flight level 390 and on one Bravo Charlie. Top of climb. Let's go vertical speed. Take this jet somewhere warm. Get out all this cold. So when you add weight, you get the passengers in there. And luggage in the uh, storages. This is where I got it. I need to get my pilot ID in there. But it's supposed to be really good with VATSIM and such. All the stuff that those guys use. Got flight monitoring. I guess you could uh, think that that is the data being recorded and possibly even sent, like SESTA does, to their uh, monitoring station. Anything happens to the aircraft, they know it real time. You can schedule in uh, a check on it or something. That's cool. Be nice if they get like YouTube in here. Then on one Bravo Charlie contact Kansas City Center on 127.5. Enjoy. Center on 127.5. Been on one Bravo Charlie. Let's see if I can type YouTube in there. I'm going to do it off the keyboard. Bear with me a second. Center Phenom 1 Bravo Charlie climbing to flight level 390. Every time I hit the Y key, I need to fix that. I hit Y again. Oh, come on. Flight level 390 Phenom 1 Bravo Charlie. Oh, crash me. Come back. 
Come back. I got to go in there on the Y key and disable that on the keyboard because every time I hit that thing. Let me do anything. This sucks. Well, that's limited. Oh well. Number two, Romeo Sierra, cross Gilead, maintain one zero thousand, enable advice. Nothing there. Uh, two Romeo Sierra. Number two, Romeo Sierra, Roger, turn left, heading up two four zero, heading one zero thousand. Left two four zero, heading uh, down to uh, one zero ten thousand for two Romeo Sierra. Nothing there. Push back. No, no. Flight monitor. Nice. In one, two thousand, one, two thousand. So a lot of that I can do with either one of these. So I can come over here and, and do whatever I need to do. Like I say, I primarily use it for the notifications. I need to move my uh, PDFs over into it. Be nice if they would bring weather into this. That's why I bought it, basically for the border. <laughs> All the rest is just extra. It's really cool. Looks good. Uh, let's get our mind back in the game. Nice tailwind, 106 knots. About our 7 o'clock. Thousand to go. So with the Bruners, I went in and kind of tweaked in what I needed to make it feel right. 
we'll test out my rudders on landing. It does float on landing, so you need to be ready to stick it on the runway. Uh, 91 Julius here, do you have an altimeter on here near March? 91 Julius here, the March altimeter is 003. Back down to 500 feet per minute, smooth out this level off. So I guess you could use a stylus on that. I'm going to research the adding a stylus in here, see if it's worth it. Law speed's increasing. We'll get up near there to the barber pole. 454 on the ground. Right now she's up there in longitude country with the wind at our butt. We'll do about Mach point seven. Increase it a little bit. I learned that max power is in Toga. Go to Toga, we're at 99. Then we we'll go to max continuous, it drops. We we'll go to Toga. Three on the ground. Color good there. Niner, Two twelve indicated. Four eighty six on the ground with a hundred and three tailwind at seven. Not bad. Southwest 
Procedures. Jets get it. Alright, we'll bring our heats on.
Air 10, 7 0, copies that. We'll find this. Let's go get our chart. Delta 2788, traffic still faster, contact center on 127.52. 1278. Delta 25,000, which they said, uh, flight level 250, Delta at or above, flight level 250, then descend. For 4,000 feet. So we got that set, and we are 25,000 in the box. Okay. Alrighty, I'm going to pause here and take a little break. Oh, okay. Be right back. Two nine or nine or nine. Yes, we are direct. Five three Gulf Echo. Thank you. Yeah, I sure like this thing. It's nice. So I've been uh, kind of spying out new virtual reality headsets kind of doing some research and since the G2 is going to go to why go away with the WMR so probably within a couple of years from what I'm hearing right now so I'm if I had to do something tomorrow I would probably go right now with the uh, Pimax crystal and then possibly get their wide lens modification lenses kind of have to wait and see you know if you get the different lenses you know if the uh, prescription lenses can cover those as well Ooh, big turbulence Speed this up. We're going to have to get out here in the snow a little bit. Get some dinner. Love this little plane. Delmark 25, Delma. Just have to find you, Heavy. Just the public needs to maintain 280 on operators. So I was kind of worried about not having a speed brake, but this thing can slow down in descent just by pulling the throttles. It's amazing. Get over. 
overshoots a little bit. Well, this is the course that got us going. Trainer 274, contact for Pro Truck 128.1. Let them know you're looking for the traffic 28 one. So we're cleared on the descent down to 4,000. Should be taking this line right there. We need to the get our Charlie contact St. Louis approach on 123.7. Enjoy your afternoon. Approach on 123.7 Finn on 1 Bravo Charlie. 3038. Approach Finn on 1 Bravo Charlie descending to 4000 feet. Finn on 1 Bravo Charlie good afternoon. Continue descent via the Delma for arrival where the ILS approach to runway 30 left at St. Louis downtown. Continue descent via the Delma 4 arrival, where the ILS approach to runway 30 left Phnom 1 Bravo Charlie. Number 4398, gonna maintain 3000. Down on the boat, 4398. Uh, looks at the window this thing. Yeah. I was watching a video earlier today of it, and they're talking about the uh, Vision Jet replacement or the Vision Jet killer, they call it. And I can see that. 2085 level 5000. Yeah, 2085 I'd even take it over the Honda Jet due to its simpler avionics suite. I'm not taking anything away from the Honda Jet, but us. Uh, so much easier and it's missing a few features from what I understand but I don't notice it don't matter to me this thing flies like a dream and I've been watching uh, following their discord and they're going to be doing some uh, updates to it Eighteen thousand. Three zero Lima Romeo, just to maintain three thousand. Three zero three eight, I believe, is what I said. Yep. Temps minus 21 Celsius. So like I talked about on a couple other videos, I travel for a living. Usually gone during the week and that's looking like it's going to go my way with a job change where I'll be home overnight. And I'll be able to fly each evening and and I might be able to uh, get some videos recorded, but uh, more videos recorded, but not necessarily published. So keep an eye on the channel for you, those of you that like and follow what I do. I sure enjoy ma uh, enjoy making these. I get you know a lot of compliment, uh, a lot of uh, comments on you know, or not a whole lot, but several of them chime in and they don't like watching how much movement there is in virtual reality, but that's all I do, and uh, it's not for everybody. And uh, I don't mind those comments at all, I just let them know hey, it's virtual reality, uh, don't like it, don't watch it, but I appreciate. Uh, the ones of you that do. 
that virtual reality is the only way to fly in my opinion uh, don't know if I could ever go back to a monitor again waited too long for this been doing the uh, e-dimensional glasses on CRT monitors back in the day and if you could get a monitor bigger than 20 inches boy is whoo hog heaven we're getting below the clouds it'll be a pretty approach this evening we're just going to leave the uh Ice protection on all the way in. Pulling that power a little more. We got traffic. We picked that guy up. Yep. So if they give us some vectors, ten thousand landing lights on. Slow down. Phenom 1 Bravo Charlie turn left heading 075 vectors to the ILS approach for runway 30 left at St. Louis downtown. Heading 075 vectors to the ILS approach for runway 30 left Phenom 1 Bravo Charlie. Phenom 1 Bravo Charlie altimeter is 3039 at St. Louis downtown. Phenom 1 Bravo Charlie turn left heading 025 descent to 3000 feet. Heading 025 descent to 3000 feet Phenom 1 Bravo Charlie. 439 you approach, thank you, for it. For it. Phenom 1 Bravo Charlie, you are 15 nautical miles southeast of St. Louis Downtown Airport. Fly heading 325 descent to 2200 feet cleared for ILS to runway 30 left contact tower on 119.92 good afternoon. Fly heading 325 descent to 2200 feet cleared for ILS approach to runway 30 left tower on 119.92 Phenom 1 Bravo Charlie. 325. The wrong way. Tower Phenom right. 1 Bravo Charlie inbound for ILS approach runway 30 left. Phenom 1 Bravo Charlie continue ILS to runway 30 left call when established on final. Continue ILS approach to runway 30 left will call when established on final Phenom 1 Bravo Charlie. Blue Street 5263 heading 265 from a D7 left there for takeoff. Heading 275, 27 left, go take off, Blue Street 5263. 265, Blue Street 5263. 265, Blue Street 5263. Top, 886 heavy. We need to hold short of 27 left, or about 30 seconds, we'll be ready. That was the Merida 886, you need uh, 30 seconds? Yeah, we need 30 seconds, we'll upward the whole short line, and then we'll be ready. Merida 886 heavy. Roger that. Phenom 1 Bravo Charlie altimeter is 3039er at St. Louis downtown. 
Altimeter is 3039 or Phenom 1 Bravo Charlie. Can you give me one zero thousand feet, please? That's sure. It's uh, 320 and 50. Thank you. Approach activated. 200, we'll give a flap. American 445, to right back to Kilo and Quebec, ramp at 57, we'll see it. Uh, Kilo, Quebec, Sato. Flaps two at one sixty or less. Sixty flaps two. Wide slopes low. Mr. Proach, climb to fourteen hundred. Flips three. American Pro sixty two, turn right, you can use the high speed of the kilo back spot seven. That's just still kilo and Romeo, ramp spot six. Kilo and Romeo spot six sticker. That's quote captured. Fourteen hundred feet. Spell that part. Runway in sight. Tire established on final Phenom 1 Bravo Charlie. Phenom 1 Bravo Charlie winds are 290 at 8 knots cleared to land runway 30 left. Cleared to land runway 30 left Phenom 1 Bravo Charlie. Uh, ice protection up. Uh, So we got to do stand by on y'all damper. Where's the 886 heavy room at 27 left, 8265, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, 27 left, 8265, clear for takeoff. Now we're good after 817 echo, tell on final for 27 left. Nice. Nice.
Margaret? American 1731 official. American 1731 went 200 4 when we 27 right for the land. Right for the land back, yeah. Sweet little aircraft. Not overly complicated, but technical enough to keep you on your toes. A lot of fun. Ah, right, we'll go. Autopilot away, y'all damper away. We have a visual, we'll go ahead and follow in all this. Fifteen knot, twelve. This is what you gotta watch here, the float. Drop on down, come on in. Bend those down. Uh, that's pretty good, they buddy. One Bravo Charlie exit runway when able. Uh, P-161, P-7, did you call? 61, 67, inbound, uh, visual P-7, right? P-161, 67, wind speed 205, runway 27, right, go to land. Clear to land, 27, right, P-1, uh, 61, 67. There's downtown St. Louis. Nice. Love these little executive airports out of the way. So you get this little clack over there with trims out of whack. So all you got to do is put that trim back around center. You hear that clack go away. Hotel, turn right, you're going to Atlantic? Ah. Hotel, right, turn on Kilo, hold turn from 35 for me. Tar, Phenom, one Bravo Charlie, clear of active. All right, turn Kilo, hold short. Tar, clear of active. Phenom 1 Bravo Charlie. Phenom 1 Bravo Charlie, welcome to St. Louis downtown. Contact ground on 121.8. Enjoy your stay. Ground on 121.8, Phenom 1 Bravo Charlie. Ground request taxi to General Aviation Parking, Phenom 1 Bravo Charlie. Phenom 1 Bravo Charlie Taxi to General Aviation Parking via Taxiways Bravo, Golf, Hold Short Runway 12 Left. Taxi to General Aviation Parking via Taxiways Bravo, Golf, Hold Short Runway 12 Left Phenom 1 Bravo Charlie. Where is Golf? Bravo. Golf. Grappler Street, uh, 5195, version spot 8, with November. Yeah. Ground, hello, runway 9 left to Kilo 6, taxi via November and Kilo. November, Kilo for 9 left to Kilo 6, Grappler Street, 5195.
Okay, this one helps us out anywhere. Let's go. I don't see a gulf. Uh, hold short or two left. 468, 52, Ron, 49. 52, ground point nine, American 468. Well, we'll go for that over there. Okay. Ten eleven, 11 Romeo 9, left at uh, Kilo 6, taxi via November and Kilo. We have to take the runway. It's all right. I'm a rookie. My exec in the back's probably getting upset because I'm being tardy to the arrival point, right? Uh, we'll park over there by those jets. It looks like a good spot. And that gulf threw me there. I don't see a gulf. We'll go for Alpha 4 up here. Ground, speed mod 6132, spot E. Ground, 6132, ground, hello. Follow the uh, American out uh, off the right there. You'll see him any second coming out of the alley. Follow them. So we definitely uh, feel the side winds with the rudder. On our left, Kilo 60 in November, Kilo behind the uh, 321. Alpha 4. There's his car. Forty two ground, hello, Romeo, let's kill six, taxi via November and kilo. Kilo six, and then up uh, November, kilo six, one, six, four, two. Ah. I was expecting a uh, Bentley. How much money as he's paid for this flight, right? Ah, what color good right there? Oh, he's got a little. <laughs> ah, park break. Go fuel off. Now, ten eleven, can you make the left there? Hello. All right, no biggie. Uh, tell you what, uh, 1011, just make your uh, next left turn there. It'll be uh, uh, Quebec. So Quebec and then uh, Quebec and then join Kilo. Okay, Quebec, Kilo for America. <laughs> Bleeds up. Is it? Get the door for him. Piedmont uh, 6132. So change of plans. Just make November and Kilo, and then uh, that American will get in front of you at, there, at uh, Quebec there. So November, Kilo now, and then uh, just let him in front of you at Quebec. All right, November, Kilo, and we'll let him back in front. Piedmont 
flashlight handy. So it puts you in that awkward position. So I need to learn to turn this off up here. Oh, wrong one. Resume it. Let's get this right. It's my first flight with this. There we go. We can just disable that there. Okay. Now we can move ourselves back. Catch our door. Let our people out. Get our chalks. Release brick. Cover cargo doors open, control lock, and we don't need a GPU. All right, let's head out of here. All right, I'm gonna experiment, and see where I left my drone. Should have been somewhere in this area. Not quite. It gets off a little bit, but that's all right. It puts me right back over there. Ooh, scared me. Okay, let's get out of here. Ah. Welcome to St. Louis. And there we have it. A nice little flyer. But well, makes me woozy when I do that. Come on, people. If you're in a hurry to get here, you paid big money. Let's go. Chop, chop. Where was downtown? There it is. That'd be a nice screenshot. Let me jump back this way of the airplane. Gets you right off the nose. Nice shot. There we go. Screenshot. Alright. See y'all in the next one. Hope you enjoyed it. See you later.